you know, you got the few bad apples, and now, now everything's applesauce again. So that's the problem. We have live team coverage on how the surge is impacting bars statewide. Eight on your side's Chip Osowski is live in St. Petersburg. But we begin with eight on your side's Jeff Patterson in Ybor City. Jeff, this is not great news for those bar owners. Good evening, Jen and Keith. This is actually devastating news for many bar owners here in Ybor City. Just as they were starting to reopen, some have been ordered to close. Troy Walker is here on vacation from Ohio. And when we told him about the order impacting the sale of alcohol, he and his friends admitted it will impact their trip. A little bit, but that's all right. We're fishing. In Ohio, they've seen similar restrictions, but they believe things would be different if people would just follow the rules. Just follow all the little rules that are out. I don't think we have to get any more regulations than are already put on us. For bar owners, the impact is severe. Uh, what it impact would be I lose my bar seats. Basically, we're going back to uh, phase, pretty much phase one. Club Zydeco's owner says going back to phase one means he has to limit his occupancy, although it will make it more difficult for him to pay his bills. The AC bill is still the same. Tico, you know, electric, everything's the same. Problem is, even at six foot apart, uh, I can't get to 100% occupancy because my footprint didn't get any bigger. J. Paul Pepin says a few overcrowded bars have impacted many. That falls right on the bar owner, um, trying to make up for lost time, and now he screwed the pooch for a lot of people. I contacted the city of Tampa and Hillsborough County today to ask them how they will enforce this. They tell me that they have just received the order from the state and they are still trying to figure out an enforcement plan. We now continue our team coverage with Chip Osowski in St. Petersburg.